Right folks, what we're going to do this morning, we're going to swap this control panel fascia. So this, this control panel we've got here has got issues with the rotary button as you can see there. So if you move it one way, it registered. If you move it the other way, it stopped registering. Um, so we've got the new fascia kit here from the club shop. So it comes with the fascia and the buttons and the new rotary button there. Now that's where you normally have the problems it usually the teeth inside usually deteriorate over time particularly if it gets knocked or anything so we're going to swap that one out on this kit here um, if you have got the control panel with the pixelation happening on the front screen then this is not the tutorial for you it will need sending off and, and repairing and if your van still is under warranty what I would suggest is you take it into VW don't don't be doing this if your van's under warranty this is for outside of warranty only which is quite a common failure on these units so Let's get to it and see what it's all about. All right, folks, so step one, what we're going to do is we are going to release these plastic tangs so you can separate the front part of the control panel from the rear. There is one under that little seal there as well. can be quite tricky, so persevere. If you do end up snapping this part of the front part of the fascia, um, don't worry, because you will be replacing that whole bit there. You can see where it joins there. Uh, so let's give it a go. Just get your guitar pick or something similar. That's it, that one came nice and easy. And um, keep the pressure on that bit there as you as you're doing it. Uh, there you go, starting to separate. This last bit just be careful when you're separating this piece here so i've already i've already gone down this piece, part of the seal with a scalpel there you go okay so that's the front panel separated from the rear part of the panel you've got two ribbons in there as you can see two ribbons so this this part of the rib this part of the ribbon holder there just slides that way same with that side and then these ribbons will come free. So let's just see if we can capture that on video. Oh, tell the lights that way, sorry. I'll just get my torques, it's that way there. Push it up there like that. Push it up there like that. Pull the ribbons out nice and carefully. There you go. So that's separated back from the rear. And all you need to do, get your Torx 6 screwdriver, remove these. They can be quite tight the first time, particularly when they're going back into the new part of the unit. It can be very, very tight. So we'll take the four screws out. Right, speed this bit up. Make sure not to lose them. Like I say, it's normally this button that's um, damaged inside. If you have got pixelation on the front screen, then this unit will need to be sent off. So in terms of the front button, we we'll just pull off like that. This one's actually not quite bad. Inside here, if you can see the little teeth inside here, you can see that on camera, they normally have broken and deteriorated, or this centre part of this button is broken. So we're swapping this one out anyway, because so it's not 100%. So the new, as you can see, the new one is quite a bit different. Now, if you are putting this onto an older unit, the I don't know if you can see right in the middle of the button there, there's a little um, raised circle piece right in the middle. Now, you might just have to sort of manipulate that a little bit to go into the centre of that. Um, but we'll try it with this one. Yep, that one's okay. You can feel that going fine. So, just reverse order. New fascia plate into there. 
The screws back in, like I say, this these will be tight as they go back in because then they've not got threads in the plastic yet. So they'll feel quite a bit tighter. And again, I might speed this bit up. We'll see, see how long it takes me. Nice to have a magnetized screwdriver. Oops. Won't slip off and destroy the control panel. Make sure they're nice and tight. Careful not to put any pressure on the new button. Just before it goes back together, try all your buttons and make sure they're working okay. And that's nice and free. Because sometimes, I'm not quite sure why, but sometimes the new fascia paint, the buttons feel like they're sticking a little bit, but that one's fine. I'm pressing in okay. Okay, so pop the ribbons back in. It's might be a tricky bit, so bear with me. Make sure these are out. So the, the blue bit there should all disappear when it's back in. So pop that down, pull it towards you. That, bit's locked, that side's locked in. Again, I don't know if you can see that side on camera. And literally, as you can see, then this so is what I was saying about the bits that you might end up breaking, but don't worry because this all this unit comes with a repair kit and that should just pop nicely back in. You should... There you go. Nice new unit and that should repair your problems with the rotary button. And then if you want to peel the old sticker off, you do get another warranty sticker with that. Like I say, if, you, if your control panel is under warranty, um, don't even mess about with this kit. Just take it straight back to VW. And of course, if you're doing this yourself, you, you do it at your own risk. But if your control panel's already broken, then it can stop a, probably an £800 repair. I think the control panel is to buy new. So it uh, can be quite, quite cheap and easy fix this one. Right, thanks for watching. Take care, guys.